Hi everyone, so I know I haven't uploaded a video in like forever. Well, actually a month, but I think a month is technically forever in YouTube makeup guru world. So, I felt bad. Uh, so I thought I'd do a video, but unfortunately I don't really know what I want to do. I'm going to sort of make come up with a look and film myself doing it. Um, all I know is I'm going to use, I want to use this quad. I've had it a while, it's from Clinique. It's the... Uh, it's the Colour Surge, I think it's called the Rum Spice Quad, looks like that. So I'm going to use this and um, so come up with like a brown smoky eye and I'm going to put in a bit of colour somewhere. I'm going to use this blue somewhere in the look. I mean I haven't really been up to much really, I've not really been that busy. I just, uh, I really just wanted a break from makeup really. So as I said I really haven't been up to much lately. Um, the reason why is because I'm moving to Liverpool in October so I need to save up a lot of money for that so I'm trying to and when I move to Liverpool I'm going to be starting um, starting my course in radiography and that's going to take up a lot of my time so I'm just I think I'm really using this these last couple of months really as a break and not to do much, like just sort of relax before it all kicks off in October. So I've just been relaxing really. I've not been wearing that much makeup. I've been doing I've been doing a lot of drawing and artwork just as a just as a hobby. Um perhaps I'll do a video showing my artwork. But they're not really that special, they're just like quick little drawings and sketches and paintings. I sometimes post photographs of my sketches on my Instagram but I usually post them as a sort of halfway done I don't really post them um, when they're completely finished and I don't really I don't normally completely finish my sketches I get bored quickly and I move on to, move on to the next one um, but some of them are on my Instagram which is um, at run the voodoo down I think all my I've got different names for all of my usernames and websites, so if you're having trouble finding me, um, like, um, if you want to know, my Twitter name is underscore Lauren H underscore. There is a Lanashi23 on Twitter, but it's not me. Uh, my Instagram is run the voodoo down, and uh, what else am I on? I'm on Pinterest too, and that's. Solidaire is my username. Shameless plug. I've also been trying to get back into my movie watching. I go through like phases of watching, of movie watching phases. I watched the um, the Devils uh, the other night, which uh, is a Ken Russell film. It has Oliver Reed and Vanessa Redgrave in it. Um, extremely controversial film um, particularly back in the day I think it was banned I think it's only um, recently been released as a whole and in fact I don't even think the full version is available anywhere like the fully uncut original version whether they just they've lost it and they can't find it I'm not sure but it was really frowned upon particularly back so in the day I was watching it a couple of nights ago and yeah, I mean I'm I'm not religious and yeah, you know, I don't believe in anything but even I even I found it like really extreme. So I can see why people were a little bit pissed by it when they saw it. That's one little thing that pissed me off about the um D V D that I got was that they the most infamous scene was cut. Um okay, don't get me wrong, the most infamous scene is apparently uh, horrible, but you know, when you buy a film, you want to see the, you do want to see the gross scenes, don't you? I'm not sure, but maybe it was a two disc um, special edition. So whether it's on a on a, they've got like a deleted scene section. I don't know. I didn't actually check. So I went to, I went to the cinema. Um recently. Um, actually I don't know how recently but it's based, 
basically the weekend that Star Trek was released, I went to see uh, Star Trek, obviously, and for obvious reasons. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. I loved it. Bizarrely, I'm not really, I don't really like the cinema. I mean, I love, I love films and things like that, but I don't really like going to the cinema. I just, I don't know, I think I'm so private, I like to, I, I just like to watch films on my own and, um, I don't know, just being surrounded by people, but, um, which is quite weird, really, for a film fan not to really like the cinema, like the place. Oh, and I need, oh, I need your help, guys, um, my bulletproof eyeshadow, which is my black eyeshadow, um, by Sugar Pill. My favourite black eyeshadow has I, I dropped it, so it's shattered everywhere. So I've, I've unfortunately lost it. Um, so I do love it, and I will, you know, I would rebuy it. But I was just asking if you have any recommendations for a black eyeshadow. Like, what's your favourite black eyeshadow? So the blacker, the better. And of course, I'm always open to film recommendations. If you know what kind of films I like. I don't like anything happy. And I hate rom-coms. Well, some are okay, but, you know, just the sort of... I don't like Boy Meets Girl films, though. I find them a bit boring. Apparently, and if this is true, there might actually be a god. <laughs> but, apparently, Benedict Cumberbatch is going to be in a Del Toro film. Uh, it's like a horror film, apparently. And that's going to be next year. And if that's true, then like shitting because he's like my favorite, probably my favorite modern um, mainstream director. Um, and Benedict, isn't it? And I love horror films, so so excited about that. I'm sorry for all this waffling. I feel like I should write a script, or maybe not a script, but at least you know, write down something more interesting to say. I just thought I'd do a look, because I haven't done one in a while, and I feel bad, and I just wanted to talk, wanted to, talk to you. I think it's a bit more natural, really, if you, you know, you don't know what to say. You just sort of, like, talk. Like, it's just talk as you are, instead of just reading or memorising something, like a script. I don't know. Do gurus normally script there? Tutorials. I mean, if I'm doing like a really sort of iconic look, I will do research on that person. I'll write down in my notes like the information, and I will include it in my tutorial. But I don't really. I'm not good at thinking of what to say, really. So a couple of films we've got to look forward to. I'll say look forward to. Um. Just a basic couple of films that are coming up. There's a new Child's Play film coming out, which I'm super excited about. And uh, Brad Dorif is back as Chucky, which is the only thing I really care about. But I'm still really, really excited about that one. Um, I think it's going to be like... I don't think the story is necessarily related to the other stories. I think it's like a mid-quel. So... Oh, the phone's gone. I think it's like... A mid, a mid quill, I think. Basically, I just don't think I don't think it's related to the other stories, but I think it is still the original Chucky. It's not like he's like a new a new doll. It's the same Chucky. Um, either way, I'm really excited about it. I'm not sure what what direction it's going to take. Um, if you've seen the Child's Play films, you notice that the first first two, maybe three was a sort of in between the two, but the first two definitely was more sort of horror themed and I think after um, when Chucky was sort of recognised as a quite a cult icon I think with Bride and Seed of Chucky they kind of made it into a horror comedy rather than the horror pure horror and also we have got the human centipede free apparently coming up um, yeah I mean I've seen the first two 
it, if you haven't seen it, I'm sure you know what it's about, and it is what it is. Um, whether I'll watch the third one, probably, <laughs> but, um, well, I'm a little bit intrigued about what's, what it's about. Well, I'm popular today. Um, yeah, apparently it's got the first two villains in it and the director in the film. So whether it's like a, I don't know, like a documentary, like a, or a mockumentary, I don't know. Hmm. Oh, we have a visitor. <laughs> My cat's just come out from the window. I'll show you, hang on. Oh, you can hear her crying. Hello. How did you get up there? You want to come in? Say hello. Oh, how the hell did she get up there? Back in a minute. Now you say sorry for interrupting my video, okay? You say sorry. There we go. How'd you get up there? Oh, all right, off you go. Sorry about that. Sorry for that little interruption. So yeah, sorry I've been a bit able, really. I've just really just been taking a break from makeup, really. Quiet. Um, yeah, so... And I think if you've seen my videos, you know that I, I mean, I do love makeup and the art of it, but I'm not really, you know, a makeup y, you know, um, girly girl, really. And yeah, I just wanted a break, really, from it. Actually, while I'm here, I've, um, I've actually got one of my sketchbooks here, and I've just, um, because I've just sketched out a few ideas for this look, like where I want my eyeshadows to go and, and all that. It's very, very rough, but just to give me sort of an idea. But it's actually got one of my sketchbooks here and I just thought I'd I'll show you a couple of drawings I've done um, I don't know how many of these are actually finished finished um, be warned there's a lot of Benedict Cumberbatch in here um, this one isn't finished um, so I, don't, I haven't finished it yet that's supposed to be Salvador Dali I haven't finished it yet I think this be, needs to be a little bit darker um, that is a Benedict Cumberbatch, sort of, because it's gone wrong. I've done another one of this one. I don't like that one. It went, went wrong, so I wrote wrong all over it. Um, this is one of Bowie. I hope these are, these are coming up okay. Um, I started one of David Cronenberg. That's uh, not finished yet. Um, <laughs> I'm not very good at these, am I? That is um, a sketch start in the plane to from Germany back here and it's of a German model um, I couldn't get her name, I just saw a photograph of her and I know that she's a German model um, if anyone recognises her from my um, perfect drawing um, but uh, I just like the way she looked so I just thought I'd draw her I don't know, I can't remember her name that is um, this is Gummo which is actually behind me here um, it's a scene from the film Gummo The Bunny Boy one of my favourite films um, I wrote one of the quotes in there, but come out. I wrote it in my left hand to make it look a bit childlike, artistic. Um, there's another. There's one of Benedict um, smoking. Um, yeah, that one's. I don't know if I'll do any more to that. I don't think it's finished, but I don't know if I'll do any more to it. Um, let's see. There you go. That's him as John Harrison. Um, I need to do a bit more here, I think, but we'll come back to that one. That is, um, that's just a quick one of Vic Chestnut. He's a Canadian. No, he's not Canadian. I don't think, no, he's, he's American. Um, he's a singer, basically, who I really, really like, and, um, he's very underrated, and sadly no longer with, with us. He's a, bit, he's a bit of a tragic icon, really. Um, that one there, and I kind of gave up on it because doing the guitar took ages. Let's see what else we've got. Um, that is um, that's just a quick one of Jay Thompson who won Britain Britain's Next Top Model. Not last year, the year before, I think, or the year before that. I'm not sure. Um, she was the one with all the freckles, and I love her, and I think she looks really beautiful. That's why I decided to draw her. That is the Afghan girl. Um, 
if you know the, the very famous photograph, National Ge Geographic uh, photograph. Um, I haven't done all the scars on her face. She's got, um, I don't know, two little scars just there on the nose. Um, but I think the original photograph, she's, um, she's got all this, like, a couple of scars on her face. And I tried to get the eyes as best I could because the picture is really famous for the eyes. I mean, beautiful eyes. That is Malcolm Tucker, Peter Capaldi. Um, yeah. Love Peter Capaldi. There's one of Benedict again. Sort of like a half one of Benedict. Um, that is. Oh, uh, this is a watercolour actually. First colour one. Um, Divine. That's just like a pen and wash. It's really, really quick one. There's Benedict again. I didn't crying for some reason. He's crying because he's not married to me. Um, let's see what else he's got. There's another one of Benedict. <laughs> Yeah, I like the way the eyes turned out on this one. Um, I... I don't know if it's finished. Maybe it's finished, I don't know. I often find if you do too much work to your sketches, they look a bit overdone. That's another one I started and it went wrong, so I wrote wrong. Hold on it. Um, there's another one. I don't know if I'm happy with that one. There's another one of Benedict. They've got the cheek line a bit wrong there. I don't know. Um, there's another one of... Benedict. I'm a bit obsessed, aren't I? <laughs> um, let's see what else. And I've just done this, another one of, oh no, sorry. Another one of Benedict, his, um, him as half a face. Benedict with a semi. Um, yeah, that's a bit wrong. Anyway, and I've just, um, I don't know if it's finished or not. I keep looking at it thinking, is it finished, is it not? But I've just done another one of Jay Thompson, who is the British, uh, British model I told you about. So that's one of my sketchbooks. Um, I've got a couple of pages left and I've got other sketchbooks, maybe I'll show you one day. And I've also got in my this book, which is quite, I did this, did this as a laugh, I did um, Sherlock Holmes and John Watson from BBC's Sherlock, um, a Sonic and Tails. <laughs> I was a bit bored. <laughs> He was on the cheekbones there. Yeah. That was just a bit of fun. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll do a video of me showing all my artwork, like all my proper artwork, one day. Um, but yeah, thank you um, very much for watching. This wasn't like a tutorial or anything, so um, you don't need to copy this. I mean, why would you? It's just a bit of fun. And I felt a bit bad because I hadn't, I haven't really done a video in a long time. So just to show you that I'm not dead. And yeah, um, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you have any requests and recommendations for films, whatever, just want to chat, press a comment below or to the side or to that side or to above, just in case YouTube chose that layout again. Um, so thank you for watching. I'll stop babbling. You get on with your day. Have a lovely day, and I will see you all soon. Bye.